Welcome to Colony TV, the governmental educational channel for the town of Colony. Welcome to Getting to Know You. My name is Joan Ash. Today we're going to be talking about the Albany Tulip Festival. This year is the 66th annual. And we have with us the reigning tulip queen, Kate Bender, and one of the members of her court, Gigi Diffenbach. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. People will know um, the queen by she's wearing her crown here. So. <laughs> um, Kate, um, you go to Siena. Yes. And Gigi, you go to um, St. Rose. You're a senior. So before we talk about um, this last year, this, uh, we'll start with the, we'll start with the Queen. Okay, how was your reign here, your year? Now it's coming to an end. It's crazy that the year is almost over. Uh, it's been an incredible experience. Whether it was going to the literacy programs with the court um, and really getting to know the kids and seeing their improvement and their reading and writing skills. Um, this year specifically, we also worked a lot on pub public speaking, allowing the kids to you know have some confidence in their writing and being able to read it aloud to the classroom. So that was a really rewarding part of our experience this year. And then just also really getting to be in the community as much as we could. We had some special projects this year that um, past courts haven't done. So we really tried to mm -hmm. milk the most we could okay. out of this year. And Gigi, how did, I know we were talking before we started, but. The um, women on the court also go to all these events. Isn't yes. just the queen? How was how was your year of? I loved it. It was really great to work with the other girls and Kate, and going to the court um, different events with the community has been wonderful. One of our favorite moments, I think, was Alive at Five when we were on stage <laughs> with George Clinton um, dancing. That was really fun. The and whole court was there. Yes, yes. With the Funk, whole court was, it was there. Funk Funk is that what yeah. Parliament Funkadelic. <laughs> I always talk about that. That's like one of my favorite parts. Okay. And meeting the kids that we work with at the literacy programs. We are in three different schools in the Albany City area. And we've done a lot of events with the kids, doing lots of face painting, where we've read books with them. We've just kind of communicated with them, hung out with them. That's been a lot of fun and very rewarding for us to do. OK. Now, this year's Tulip Festival is going to be May 10th and 11th, it's Mother's Day weekend. It does start on Friday with the traditional um, street scrubbing. Now, most people, know all the, most people know all the events. They're going to have the food and the music and all that. But so we're, we're going to be talking mainly about what you, what you guys have done. So um, what? Why don't we start with the literacy program? This is the 15th year they've done it. You mentioned yes. this year was a little bit different than past years. How um, is it different? This year was a little bit different. You know, a big thing that we struggle with with the toilet program is people thinking that it's a beauty pageant. Mm -hmm. um, even this day and age, I still have people who know me at school come up to me and say, oh, the beauty pageant you do. <laughs> yeah. um, so we really tried to focus this year, especially with the new mayor, on what the TULIP program was and what it was that we were really trying to do in these schools. Um, so like Gigi said, we're at three schools. We're at Toast in Albany. We're also at Eagle Point, And we are over, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Albany Community Charter Albany School. Albany Community Charter School. <laughs> okay. Um, and so we really tried to engage the kids as much as we could. We have two literacy programs this year, which is a little different. Most courts have one. Um, and we did it because we wanted to focus specific things with different age groups. So our first program is Feed Your Mind, and that's for students kindergarten through third okay. grade. And what we did was our poll was food. Every kid loves to eat food. Um, well, they do it here in the library <laughs> in a lot of their programs. They have a snack. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so every kid loves food. We love, we food. love food. It's perfectly <laughs> fine. Um, and I did a program like it when I was in elementary school, and I knew how much I enjoyed doing it. So what we do is we read a book that has some sort of a theme to it or a message, um, whether it's learning about something so complex as cultural diversity or something so simple and well-known to them as bullying and the bullying issues in schools. 
and we make a snack that has to do with that. Um, okay. We started off very simple in one of the kindergarten classes at Albany Community Charter School uh, with the very hungry caterpillar, and the kids made caterpillars out of grapes, and they, they were able to you know use their hands and be creative and allow their minds to flow, and they can create it however they thought the caterpillar should look. So that's been a very creative thing to okay. see, very interesting. Um, the kids always want to eat before we read, but <laughs> you know we found a way to discipline ourselves. And then our second program is called All oh, the Places You're Going, and um, that's for okay. the older elementary aged kids. Oh, it says here it was third to sixth grade? Yes. Okay. Third and to then... sixth graders, and um, we focus that a lot on professional development in the sense of dreaming big and being able to stick with that. Um, so unfortunately for a lot of the students that we work with, they come from a background where you know, they believe that, oh, my dad did this, so I'm just going to do that. Mm -hmm. Or, um, you know, I want to be a professional basketball player, but that's never going to happen. And we wanted to encourage them to think, well, why can't you be a professional basketball player? And what can you do with that? What can you do besides just your love for basketball? How can you use that to help the people around you? And it does sound like a very complex thing for um, such young children to understand. Uh, but we placed it off the book, Oh, the Places You'll Go, by Dr. Seuss. And we've allowed them to write letters to different professionals in the community who have all written back and given them some great advice for how they can get to where they want to go. Um, and within the next few weeks and last week, we have um, professionals coming into the schools to talk to the students and to really get on that level with them and explain so to you're them having, what they have to do. You're going to have people come in and talk to the kids mm -hmm. about, po about possible career, not yes. careers, but... They're kind of young to be thinking about careers, aren't they? <laughs> we, wanted, we wanted to start young. I mean, um, one of the biggest things that we constantly talk about is, OK, you're in elementary school. What do you have to do next if you want to be a cop? Mm -hmm. You have to go to middle school. What do you have to do next? You have to go to high school. So it's kind of encouraging um, the entire educational process. Okay. I mean, to get most places these days, you have to at least have a bachelor's degree. Um, so we did want to really encourage them to you know, get through high school and, and just to set that seed very early on so okay. that they're thinking about it. All right, now, G um, Gigi, how did you find working with these two different levels of kids? I loved it. I actually was student teaching before. Um, oh, that's right. You're going to be a, now you're going, you're at St. Rose to be a teacher. What grade are you going to be yes. teaching? Yes. I'm certified right now to teach one to six, All right, and so I'm this, in grad school right, to do so seven to, to 12. You were used to these kids. Yes. <laughs> I love she children. Pro. I, yeah. So I was student teaching at Toast, and I was speaking with the co my teacher that I was working with, and she said that the Tulips, um, they've never gone to Toast, I believe, or they what? haven't in years. No, why, what's, what's, why is the school called Toast? Thomas O'Brien. Brian Academy of Science All and right, Technology. Okay, okay. It's a mouthful, so we just say toast, okay. or the school across the street from Hackett. So being able to work with the students that I actually student taught, oh, okay. that's been mm -hmm. such an awesome experience, because it's just it was just really cool. Like, I'll come in the room and be like, Miss D, hi. So what and do they think about you being on the, the court? They think it's really cool. They don't really fully understand yeah. what it is. They just know I wear a sash, okay. and Kate wears a <laughs> crown, and we just kind of come in and hang out with them and read and um, talk to them about the okay. importance of reading. And it's just, for students, it's a different face to see, yes. so they're a lot more involved okay. with what they're doing. So it's not just their teacher speaking at them all day, every day. They have something to look forward to. So working with the different, I've worked with, um, we've worked with kindergarten and second grade, third grade, and first grade. So well, it's Kate, been Well, Kate great. said that the, the one thing that was different is you had them Practice, was it practice public speaking or reading the book? How was that? Um, what did we that have them whenever we get the chance to to actually read the work that they've written because students, believe it or not, love sharing their own mm -hmm. work. Um, they, whenever they get the chance to be like, oh, read mine, read mine, they, they want to do oh, that. Oh, so they read their own work. Yes, oh, okay. they read their own work. Right, so um, was... But they, students of every age love being read, too. Like, okay. no matter, you can be 27 and still be like, I want you to read to me. Like, it's just, it never goes away. So we're actually, one of the things that Kate had mentioned that we're um, doing differently this year, we are doing a community day, a Tulip community day, that we've set. Um, that we set up where the students can come in and actually display their work and talk about 
um, what they've done to the other community okay. members, their parents, other teachers. So we're really excited about and, that. And what was it? What was their work? Were they little stories or what? Um, different schools have done different things with um, the programs that we've been implementing. We have the letters. We have different drafts of the letters to kind of see their improvement. And that's the main part that we want to focus on is where they were when we first went in and where they are now that we're coming mm -hmm. out. Um, the development that they've had over that time, even with something so simple as reading their letters aloud, mm -hmm. seeing the difference between the students who had raised their hand to want to read yeah. in the beginning to now, mm -hmm. seeing the number, we have to block out like 15, <laughs> 20 minutes at yeah. the end because the kids who were terrified to speak yeah. because they were afraid of judgment or um, you know, we have some kids who have small speech impediments who don't feel comfortable have really grown and decided, you know, I know that people are going to be there supporting me and, and kind of understanding that. And so the things that we'll display are those letters. Um, we had some students who worked on stories of like a day in the life of that yeah. professional. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a ton, there's tons of different things for them to really show. And it's okay. a great way to show not only themselves what they've done and their parents, but the city of Albany, what incredible youth we have. Mm -hmm. And we are very lucky in the education system that they're going through and how they can really make the most of it. How did you um, encourage them to use their local library? <laughs> yes, actually, we, we did. We wanted them, part of our program was to find, um, on their own time, to find books oh, yeah. about the professions mm -hmm. they want to be, um, just as something to look into. And a lot of the students actually did, like, they're like, oh, we found a book about a okay. basketball player, about LeBron James, or about a teacher. So that's been, we've asked, asked them to utilize the now, resources. Now, you, you were at three different schools. Mm -hmm. were you, did you go over the course of the whole year, or did you only went once or twice? Or were you there several dozen times? No, or? we been there a lot. Um, so we have three schools and we go to each once a month. Yeah. So All right, so and you started right away last Yes, so you we went started, to each one. We started in the or, beginning of the school year. So you went to each school nine or ten times? Yes. Oh wow, that is pretty well I can see why this is the sort of um, most not to say the most important, but it is the key the key um, function that you guys did, would you yes. say the most important? Yes, yes. Now I notice here on the list you do you get to do a lot of fun things, like, <laughs> like be in the St. Patrick's Day Parade and oh, yes. be on stage with Parliament Funkers. <laughs> <laughs> but you're also involved with the Boys and Girls Club, the Festival of the Nations, mm -hmm. um, the Jazz Festival, the Senior Sunday, African American Family Day, Alive at, well, we said Alive at 5 GE, so Juneteenth, Father's Day concert, Family Fun Night. So um, do all, I guess I was talking to you before, all four of you, the whole court goes to most of these events? Mm -hmm. We definitely try to. Um, there's always going to be times where not all of us can come at the same time, um, but we always want a representative of the Tulip Court and Queen to be there. Um, if for whatever reason Kate can't be there, two of the court members try to be there. Um, if for whatever reason not all the court can be there, mm -hmm. there's always three or four of us at events okay. to represent the court and the queen and our legacy. Um, and we all do different things at all these events, okay. so, so you're it's always busy. <laughs> <laughs> what were some of your favorite events that you went to? Oh, Maybe you could each oh, talk about goodness. a couple. Or? <laughs> um, oh, this is I mean, so besides hard. the reading one. I mean, you could just mention. Right. Um, well, we do go, it's, I want to say it's like two days after, actually, the festival. Yes. Um, we go to Greek Fest oh, okay. uh, yes. at St. Sophia's, I and I love Greek food, so that was yes. really fun for <laughs> me. That was so much fun. Um, and we went to a lot of really fun events in the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the best parts, and I think I can speak for all of us when I say this, mm -hmm. is, I mean, there's only so many kids in Albany. So when we're working with these students during the school year, we see them at these events. Oh, okay. And so, you know, events in the past few months where they've really gotten to know us and understood, mm -hmm. like, yes, you can come up and say hi when we're at events. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be scared. Um, being able to just see them and see them in a general light and, you know, we get to meet their families and really get to know them. So we've had a lot of fun. Uh, I know Megan, who's not here, would definitely say we went to the Teresian house and yeah. they do a fashion show every year. Is that the... What's that, a, what's that? Is that a senior center? Yes, oh, okay. senior center. That was so much fun. So we, you know, the seniors dressed up in their Sunday best, and they made a big runway, and we got to walk with them down oh, the wow. runway. So that was really exciting. And, you know, we've done a lot of different charity events um, for different organizations. Okay. And, 
It really, it's and fun. I love it. Don't Gigi, do you have a, do you have a favorite event or? I have a, quite a few favorite events. Um, it's kind of difficult to choose. I love events where all of us are there because it just makes it so much more special for mm -hmm. everyone there, and all the kids feel like they have a person mm -hmm. that they can talk to. Um, they always go for Kate's crown. They just, just like the they want to touch don't it. Actually care about they me. just want to touch the crown or touch our <laughs> sashes. My students wear my sash all the time whenever I have it on oh, me. Okay. I think my favorite event has. Been I loved the kids expo that we mm -hmm. went to. Um, we were in the circus room and we did like um, we color with the kids. We did like tricks with them. There were clowns there. That was a lot of fun. That was recent festival of nations. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and that was my first time at Festival mm -hmm. of Nations. There was so much food. I love food. Events <laughs> with food are my favorite. Um, and I love music. It's a huge part of my life. So Alive at Five was okay. absolutely so much fun. Well, on the website, it's um, it's albanytulipqueen.com. There's a space in there I was looking at. Maybe you could explain how this works. You can request the um, queen and her court to come to an event? Yes. How do you just fill it out or what is? Yep, you yep. just fill it out and we'll be there. And, and any, <laughs> any, it's, any kind of group can, can uh, do any, this? Okay. Any group in Albany County. That oh, Albany County, yes. okay. Yes. So I guess now on a serious question, I'll ask both of you now. <laughs> how has um, being on the court and being queen and being on the court, how has it um, helped you sort of in your future oh, career wow. and um, <laughs> possible career and plans or has it or would you like to go first teacher <laughs> sure she wants to think <laughs> um, for me it's been wonderful being able to connect with schools um, as an education major and having my teaching certification being able to go into the different schools and speak with principals and speak to current teachers it really helps my motivation to want to be a teacher mm -hmm. and I really enjoy the fact that I get to along with the court and Kate be in front of a classroom mm -hmm. um, and making the connections that way and just with the students in general when they see like Kate said they see you on the street and they just kind of run up to you and give you a hug and you feel like little hands on you <laughs> like what um, so that's been great making those types of connections but it's really reassured me in my career path um, in life I know for a fact that I want to be a teacher okay. I think that Personally, I've gotten a lot better at speaking publicly <laughs> and working with different people, and because you're going to always encounter crazy things oh, when sure, you, whenever sure. you are at events, and being able to mediate things and stay calm. I think all of us really have mastered okay. that and kind of just going with the flow. So I think in my future career, that tulips absolutely okay. has been now, a blessing. Okay, you, it says here you're a business major. Do you, I am. Are you going to be applying anything that you've learned the last year to it? I know. I'm like the future? odd one out because <laughs> everyone else is like social work and psych. Um, I've actually learned more than I thought I would um, in this experience. And not alone with just the literacy programs or the events that we've taken part in, um, but the five of us working together as a unit and working with the city of Albany and the different people. Um, we work very closely with Marcus Pryor, who's the chairman for the Tulip Festival, um, Amy Pryba, who works in the office um, over at City Hall. And so just being able to work with different people to make things happen. Uh, at first, it was difficult for us to get into the schools only because teachers were so busy. It was the yeah. beginning of the school year. Um, and you know they obviously are there for a reason. They have the day timed out already. Mm -hmm. uh, getting professionals to come to the school, it's a weird time for most people who work nine to five. Uh, so just kind of like being able to be a problem solver and working Absolutely. out those glitches. Um, but working with the kids, I have a huge passion for children and for education reform. So being able to see different things that are going on in the Albany schools and then testing out things to make okay. some of the glitches work better. So would you would you guess would you recommend for anyone watching would you recommend other young women um, being involved in doing something like, doing something like this for the year? Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. Um, if you can only be 18 to 23, okay. So keep that in your mind. I know a lot of people. I we've actually met a few people yeah. who are like, oh, I'm 24, and I'm just like, oh, oh sorry. Well, that's unfortunate. Now you were telling me before we started when you get nominated. People don't ask you if they can nominate you. You just sort of, someone calls you and says, you've been nominated. Yeah. What was that? One of you could each talk about, what was that like, Gigi? Um, my mom actually nominated me, so oh, okay. I knew <laughs> that I got nominated. She, cause did she, she tell you beforehand? She did. Oh, well, okay. we had talked about it, because I had a lot of really good friends on the court in 
previous years. Okay. And so I've always been interested in it, but I never knew how to go about it. And I didn't want to be that person that nominated <laughs> myself. Well, so can you nominate yourself? You can nominate yourself. You can nominate okay. Which, if you want to do that, go for absolutely it. do it. Um, no shame. But I, my mom nominated me. I didn't think she was going to because she was like, ah, oh, whatever. And then, um, because she, she grew up in Colony, so she had friends that were on the, that oh, okay. were queens and courts, so she knew how it was, and um, but she didn't know all the changes that yes, happened over the years. So <laughs> she, when she read more about, it, she goes, "This is perfect for my daughter." So she wrote up this um, biography about me, and I got a call from Amy Priba a few days later that said, "You've been nominated for Albany Tulip okay. Queen and Court." Well, they just they didn't say, but you knew it was no. Your I knew it was my oh, mom, but they didn't say. Um, <laughs> They don't tell you unless, but I, I mean, someone else might have nominated me as well, and I just never <laughs> knew, but I know that my mom did. And what about you, Kate? Did you? Um, mine's actually kind of funny because my dad had been joking around about it the day before I got my phone call. Um, and so when I got the call, I thought it was him, and he kept denying it and saying he hadn't done it. And so I uh, called Amy back and I asked if I could know who had nominated me, and I um, do a lot of charity work with the Girl Scouts of Northeastern New York right here in Colony, and so my supervisor there had actually nominated me. And then also, I work on the Theresian House Gala in the summer, okay. and the woman that I um, was under for that, she nominated me as well. So um, I've known a lot about it throughout my years. I used to go when I was younger, just, you know, the Tulip Fest is a huge part of Albany, and, and the <laughs> Tulip Queen is, a huge, is, is the Tulip Fest, in my opinion. Um, they do so much for the city, and to be part of 65, now 66 years yeah. of this is incredible. Well, I, you know, I, I, people can't see them. I have their, um, the short biography here of each of you, and oh, there's a lot of, you guys are involved in a lot of different things, not just in the Tulip um, Queen and her court, but in your schools, you're very involved in all these kind of things. I think you went down for Hurricane Katrina, but you're, you're very involved in a lot of things, so it isn't, it isn't just a, like you said in the beginning, it's not just a beauty pageant. No. I mean, it, it, the, 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 you guys have done more than I've done, I think, <laughs> in a number of years. So this year's Tula Festival, I guess, May 10th and 11th, is there, I think you've got some information you can give us, or just from um, the usual the yeah. usual things will be going on. Do you yes, want anything absolutely. else you want to mention? Well, it's uh, the usual setup. Uh, on Saturday, we're going to be having the... Um, coronation mm -hmm. of the queen. And what time is that? Noon. Noon. Noon, okay. At noon. And then on Sunday, which is one of my favorite parts, um, for, because it's they Mother's Day. They have the Day. Mother of the Year, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. the Mother of the Year. Uh, and that's a really great event. I know um, a lot of the mothers who have been nominated in the past. And so it's really incredible to see you, you know, you, know, you have your big day on Saturday, and we all get to enjoy our little moment of fame. And then just to be able to nominate or, and talk about someone who's been doing incredible things as well. That's what this program's about. It's about the community service and the leadership in Albany. Um, so to be able to see that and do that, we have a lot of musical guests, as always. The concert lineup is not out yet. It's almost out. So. It is always a big secret. I know. I we don't I even wait. know. We don't even know. It's not I even like wait. we're lying. We don't even know. Um, so we're, wait, we're excited. We're but they usually, uh, you know, I tell people, everyone knows the Tulip Festival, but they'll have music for all kinds of ages and all Absolutely. tastes. And there's all kinds of events. There's a, last year, I'm sure they'll be continuing it. There's like. There's a kids zone. Um, the kids yes. zone, yeah. Kids That's zone. Where the Tulip Queen and Court. That's will where be. we all be. Oh, well, well, well not us, but we'll the new girls. Face painting. We be um, jumping around on the, the jumping thing in there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they have different bouncy houses. Um, cat's eyes usually there doing something fun, and then uh, they usually get Radio Disney yeah. to come and play some music. And, we were on stage. You know all that new there. fun music that kids listen to. Well, Gigi, it sounds like you like being on stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really. Gigi's a I'm, stage girl. I'm not at all, and but it's like being being on stage I'm just like this is really awkward but I'll go with it but it's it's fun to to bask in now do you now bit. do you feel that your court was five right or there's four? five total so there's five. four court members and then the okay, court. now you none of you knew each other beforehand do you, do you feel you made lifelong friends here or um, I actually a member of our court Megan we went to high school oh, together okay. and we didn't even know that each other had been nominated until we um, got to the tulip tea which is part of the nomination process and 
I think we have. Um, you know, it's interesting because we have to spend so much time together, and because we're all so busy, we don't spend much time together aside from Tula. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have had our ups and downs, and I, it's made us so much stronger mm -hmm. together and as individuals. Um, so coming out of this, you know, we'll all be friends, and it's just it's an incredible thing to say that we went through together. Okay, and do you, do you have to? Would you like to sum up your experience? Yeah, absolutely. I think <laughs> that a lot of people, um, for being a personally a, on the court, aside from Kate as queen, they don't, they kind of see the queen and they don't, they think it's just about that we are just kind of the runners up. And I think one of the best parts of this experience for our year particularly has been showing the Albany community mm -hmm. how much as a group, it's really a unit where te uh, Kate is our team captain and we're all on the team together. And she's done an amazing job of being a team leader and not just making it about, oh, two of queen up front and mm -hmm. then you guys, like she's done an amazing job at that all year. And that's why I feel like we really will be friends because we've had our ups and downs, but as a group, we've been able to talk it out and problem solve and really um, show the community that there is five of us here. We're a group of girls that are Doing do, do some people still this. think it's only all about the queen? Or it? it gets sometimes. <laughs> it's rough sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> but you have to have the right attitude about it. And I believe that all of us really mm -hmm. have had a great attitude about it where we don't, where we kind of just laugh about it. We're like, yeah, she's the queen. It's awesome. Um, one of the hardest things from the beginning that I think Kate handled really well was saying that, oh, you're the winners. Like, yes. you won. And where people were just like, we kind of we lost in a way, but I, she's done an amazing job. Well, it sounds like you you guys do that. are do just as much work. And Absolutely, go to, you go to just as many, mm -hmm. put, in, put in the same amount of time. So. I mean, when you think about it, what well, our year there were 70, 75, oh, 75 girls like who were nominated. Okay. So to say that the top four are losers in any way, shape, yeah. or form is completely and utterly incorrect. Mm -hmm. um, so we've done a great job, and you know we said it from the beginning. Uh, one of my favorite memories of the whole entire experience will still be the morning of coronation. Yeah. We stay in the hotel across from Albany Med um, just to get ready before we leave. Mm -hmm. And we all <laughs> stood there and you know we said to each other, no matter what, no matter who gets it, it's we're all doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's going to be exactly the same no matter who has the crown on their head. And that's that. And I think we've um, we really been really good at staying that. true to that. Well, good. Well, thank you so much for coming. You've given us great insight into what, it, what goes on, not just being the queen, but being a, a member. And I, I, th I think a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't know that you do go to all these events Absolutely. together and, yep. and all that. So thank you so much. And I'll just say one more time this year's Tulip Festival, yeah. May 10th and 11th, Washington Park. The usual suspects will be there, yes. I guess yes. say. So <laughs> it's pretty much thank you, same. Kate and Gigi for coming. Thank and you. Thank you for having us. Happy, um, well, I don't know what to say, happy, Tulip. 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 There you, go. <laughs> well, you keep you keep referring to it. You keep saying the tulip. Is that how you guys refer um, to it? We say it's easier tulip queen and court. It's just too long. Just so we yeah, just say, just say tulips. tulips. <laughs> All right. Well, well. So this year you'll be down. You'll be walking around. People can yep. wait. You'll be graduating. I will that day. be walking at okay. my graduation, okay. but the new queen and court will we'll be, be, be there. there. And okay. And you'll be able to see them. Okay, Welcome so that's them with open arms. Yes. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. And we will see you next time on getting to know you.